Hello, I'm Guillermo Valle Perez and I'm going to be presenting our work on Transflower. Dance is one of the deepest forms of self-expression throughout human history. This is no different in our current era of digital technologies, where dance plays a big role in content sharing platforms, digital performance and even in social gatherings in virtual reality. Currently, digital dance content such as this is being created mostly by a motion capture or handcrafted animation. Recently, the use of AI technologies in artistic creation has experienced a huge boom, with models such as Stylegun, Clip, and Dali for image synthesis, and Wavegun and Jukebox for music generation. These kinds of models have allowed new forms of artistic expression, as well as a deeper understanding of the cognitive processes behind them. See, for example, the multimodal neurons discovered in, in Clip. In this work, we present a new model for dance synthesis that we hope can offer the basis for such artistic and scientific innovations for the field of dance. We now present the machine learning model architecture. Previous models in dance generations, generation have either relied on autoregressive models with deterministic predictions such as AI choreographer, or with highly restricted ways of modeling probabilistic distributions, such as the transformer models from Lee et al. 2020. Moglo introduced an autoregressive model using normalizing flows, which are able to model much more complex probability distributions. However, it relied on LSTMs for learning time dependencies, which uh, recent works, including their related work AI choreographer, have found are inferior to transformers at learning long-range time dependencies. These observations motivate the models which we introduce, called Transflower. Transflower models dance autoregressively, meaning that it predicts the future poses conditioned on previous poses, as well as the music context, which includes a window of both past and future music. The feature poses are modeled using a normalizing flow, which is uh, composed of blocks of uh, batch normalization, uh, one by one convolutions, and affine coupling layers. Um, through the affine coupling layers, the normalizing flow is conditioned on a latent variable H, which encodes the relevant information from the past motion and music context. This latent variable H is the output of a multimodal transformer encoder, which uses a full attention modular architecture composed of a motion encoder, a music encoder, and a cross-model encoder. The success of machine learning approaches depends heavily on the quantity and quality of data available. For this reason, we aggregated the largest data set of dance motion, including not only a variety of dancers and dance genres, but also a variety of motion capture technologies. In particular, we extend recently introduced AST++ database, as well as the GrooveNet data set. Um, the AST++ includes motion inferred from a multi-camera setup, and GrooveNet includes uh, motion capture using a professional mock-up system. We extend these datasets with three new datasets. A three-hour dataset of both casual and a professional dancer captured using a professional motion capture system. A 10-hour dataset data set of casual and amateur dancers who dance in the social VR platform VRChat, captured using a motion encoding shader. And a one-hour data set of a particular Greek dance, Sirtos, captured using a professional motion capture system. In total, we extend the size of existing data dance databases by a factor of four. We trained only on a subset of dancers due to availability of data at the time of training. The components used for training are marked in this table with an asterisk. Furthermore, we fine-tuned Transflower on the KTH datasets 
as they are the data, data sets with highest quality motion data. In the, in the experiments we present, we refer to this model as fine-tuned transflower. We now present how we evaluate this model. Evaluating the quality of dances generated by generative models is a challenging and still open problem. In our work, we use both objective metrics and a user study to compare the transflower with previous models found in the literature. In particular, we compare AI choreographer, a model that uses a full attention transformer to learn time dependence and densities, but predicts future poses deterministically. And Moglo, which models future poses with a normalizing flow, but captures time dependencies using an LSTM. Note that Moglo had not been trained to generate dances before, so this is also a contribution of our work. We now present uh, the results qualitatively. Um, first, we observe that AI choreographer struggle to produce realistic dances when trained in our large and heterogeneous dataset, instead producing unrealistic poses and increased foot sliding. Moglo, on the other hand, produced more realistic dance, but struggled to capture complex dance patterns. Transflower succeeded in capturing more complex dance motions while maintaining a good level of realism. Finally, fine-tuning on the highest quality dataset further increased the realism only at a moderate decrease in diversity. <clears throat> we now see how the objective metrics and user studies support these observations. <clears throat> we studied two objective metrics, two of which measure the realism of the dance and two of which measure how well the dance matches the music. To study the realism of the dance, we measure the freshet distance between the distribution of poses in generated dances and in the ground truth dances, which we call the freshet pose distance. We also concatenate three consecutive poses and measure the freshet distance between generated and ground truth dances for these vectors, which capture short term motion, and which we call freshet movement distance. The results show that Transflower has the best scores among the compared models, followed by Transflower Fine Tune. To study the music matching, we study the distance between kinematic and music beats. Kinematic beats are defined as the minima of the hip velocity, while music beats are extracted with a standard algorithm. It is apparent that in the results that the proposed model leads to an improved alignment between these. We also looked at tempograms of the hip motion to visualize how Transflower and especially the fine-tuned version showed the most consistent rhythmic pattern, which was also consistent with the music. In domains where objective evaluation of the results is challenging, such as in dance, user studies offer the gold standard in comparing approaches. For this reason, we perform a user study with 25 participants using the crowdsourcing platform Prolific. We ask participants to rank 15 second video clips from the different models on a five point Likert like scale. We ask them to judge the dance along three dimensions naturalness, or how natural is the dance motion, appropriateness, to what extent is the character dancing to the music, and within dance diversity, or how different are dances extracted from two different times of the dance generated for a single song. We um, ask uh, to evaluate naturalness, we ask participants to uh, rate the models on the question to what extent the movements look like they could be carried out by a dancing human being where one is, one is very unnatural and five is very natural. Transflower produced the more natural dances uh, compared to Moglo and AI choreographer. Furthermore, fine-tuned 
fine tuning improve the naturalness score. To study appropriateness, we ask participants to what extent is the character dancing to the music, i.e. how well do the movements match the audio, where one is not at all and five is very well. In terms of appropriateness, we find a similar pattern, with Transflower improving on the previous models and fine-tuning producing a small boost. To evaluate diversity, we ask participants how different are the two dances from each other, where the two dances refer to two excerpts of dance from within the same dance generated for a given song. Within, la within dance diversity, which is the term we give to this kind of diversity, shows less significant variation. The most significant effect is that fine tuning causes some slight decrease in diversity, though not too large. Note that there are many types of diversity that we could measure, including diversity of generated dances for the same song but different random seeds, or different or, or, or diversity across generated generated dances for different songs. We chose to focus on, on within dance diversity, as this scenario is representative of how generated dances may be judged in practice. Apart from fine-tuning, we explored a second method to control the qualitative properties of the dance, like quality and genre. As our model is autoregressive, we need an initial motion seed for the model to start generating dance. We observed that the motion seed significantly affected the style of the generated dance. For example, here we feed a castle, uh, a castle seed. And here we feed a hip hop seed for the same song. We term this effect motion prompting. In terms of future work, there are many directions that one could pursue, including improvements to the model or dataset, as well as novel applications, both in machine learning and computer graphics. Transflower is an end-to-end -end machine learning model. This is to be contrasted with more structured models based on motion graphs like the concurrent work Korea Master. We think that further work is needed in comparing these two classes of models under control settings, like using the same database. Another important direction of future work is the effect of quality versus quantity in datasets. In our work, we explore the way in which we could combine the benefits of a larger, higher, highly diverse dataset with a smaller, higher quality component via fine-tuning, but more systematic study, study studying the benefits of different datasets and learning algorithms will shed light into how to best utilize this class of machine learning models. Now we show some longer examples of dances generated with our model. We have open sourced the code and created a collab notebook that allows anyone to try our models on their browser. Please visit our website at metagen.ai slash transflower. Thank you for listening.